Brothers and sisters, today we, as part of a team with Jesus Christ that he has called to go out into the world to save souls with him through his power, um, every team needs a good offense, but not just a good offense, a good defense. And so today we want to talk about defending our faith, apologetics. What's its goal? Um, its goal is not to be like beating people over the head with what is right or what is wrong, what is the true teaching, but to help people to understand why we believe and to understand it ourselves. So if someone challenges us, we're able to defend with the truth. And so we want to talk about it. Today we're going to talk about salvation. Never forget, a couple years ago, I'm in Austin, Texas. I'm there visiting family, and I'm going to go see a music festival. And so I wasn't wearing this, I was wearing plain clothes, and I was sitting at a coffee shop, and I'm just waiting there. And as I'm waiting at this coffee shop, I see uh, this church group uh, from a Protestant church start walking up and talking to people. And so uh, I was a priest, but they didn't know that. And so I kind of made eye contact, and they came over to me, straight at me, and they said, are you saved? And I looked at them, and I said, yes. Jesus Christ died for me on the cross by my baptism. Uh, my parents claimed that salvation. And as I live in God each and every day, choosing him, um, the Lord works his power in me. And they're like, yeah, but where is that in the Bible? And so I looked at them and I said, Romans chapter 3, verse 23, all of sin have been deprived of the glory of God. Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 5, Verse 8, um, God proves his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. And Romans chapter 10, verse 9, if you uh, confess with your lips and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. Um, and then the person looked at like their boss and they were like, he knows all of our scripture verses. <laughs> so... Um, I think there's power in being able to express that so that we don't get, uh, we don't start to doubt and we're able to share that truth. So I want us to look at the series of scripture verses below and start to memorize a couple of them. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. We have all sinned, and because of that sin, we're deprived of God's glory. Romans 6. The wages of our sin is death. Right, what we've earned by our sin. But God gives us a free gift in Jesus Christ of eternal life. Romans 5, that we don't earn that gift. God proves his love by giving it to us. But what other scripture verses that do we have that widen and expand and show the beauty of Catholicism? Colossians chapter 1, verse 24 says something very interesting. It says, um, that we fill in what is lacking in the cross of Christ. Well, there's something lacking in Jesus' death on the cross? Objectively, he won every soul, gave every soul life in that moment. What is lacking is our response, our yes to that. And so people often ask Catholics, do you believe that your works save you? No, right? We believe that Jesus saved us, but that we need to receive that gift, not just leave it in its wrapping paper, but open it and receive it. And that too is by Jesus Christ's grace and power. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 says this, for God is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. But that the work is important. The work is the incarnation of our faith. We as humans are um, body and soul, right? And our belief is spiritual and lived out in reality. And so that's why James chapter 2 says, faith without works is dead, right? Faith without works is dead. And even Jesus in Matthew 25 says that we will be judged by the lived expression of our faith or whatever we have done for the least of our brothers. So we have all of these scripture verses down at the bottom. I want you to just kind of run through. Imagine, what would you say if someone said, are you saved? And start to work on that. Or if someone said, do you think that your works save you? And just be able to practice. 
how would we respond so we can be ready to give a defense for all that we believe? Amen. God bless.